All right. Uh, so in this video, I just want to show how to find a cotangent of a given angle, you know, cosecant of a given angle, if you had to evaluate it. So, you know, we've already done, you know, like sine of 30. Uh, we've already talked about that a little bit. You know, sine of 30, you know, it's 0.5 or it's one half. Uh, so make sure, you know, that your calculator mode here, make sure it's in degree mode again. You gotta have that still. So uh, we know that secant, we know that secant of x is just equal to 1 over cosine of x. All right, and that's what we're going to have to do to evaluate uh, this expression. So uh, you know, notice you know, there's, no, uh, there's no secant, cosecant, cotangent buttons here. Uh, these other ones here we'll get to later. But So if you want to evaluate secant of 40 degrees, I mean, you don't have to rewrite it, but that's, this is what's going on. You're going to think of it as 1 over uh, the, cos, uh, the cosine of 40 degrees. All right? And that's what you would type in the calculator there. All right, you were just typing 1 divided by cosine of 40. So 1 divided by cosine of 40. All right, it gives you this you know, large irrational number here. Uh, so 1 point, yeah, let's write it down below, 1.305. There we go. Uh, so notice it is not the same as, all right, it is not cosine of 1 divided by 40. Uh, it's going to be a totally different answer. All right, you see it's actually getting really close to 1 there. And, and the reason why is because you're, you know, 1 divided by 40, that's really close to 0. And when you do cosine of 0, cosine of 0, you get 1. So because that's really close to 0, you're getting 1. Anyway, so <clears throat> for cosecant, all right, we're going to do 1 over sine of 40. And for cotangent, we're going to do 1 over tangent of 40. All right, make my little fraction this time. So 1 over sine of 40 it gives me 1.555. 1.556. Yeah, kind of round that up. And then for cotangent, 1 divided by tangent of 40. 1.1917. 1.1917. All right, so it's just uh, it's just the reciprocals. So like, you know, if we were to look at cosine of 40, cosine of 40, and we did one divided by that, that would give us this 1.305. One divided by 1.305. That's that's all that's going on.